Okay, this is the Yukon 750. Yukon, yeah, Volt Bike Yukon 750. Um, so, I'm going to 850C display, color display, but before we start the video, I'm going to show you. This is the connector you need coming out of the display. This is the old display that came off of the Yukon 750. You need the male connector coming out, not female male. If you do not have male, it will not work correctly. I've heard of people having problems getting their lights turned on using a conversion cable. So I use this display. Um, the 8, 850C display. <clears throat> the color display. I just upgraded. I did a video over there a minute ago just displaying, just showing how the display works on the bike. but. I'm going to go a little bit in depth more with the display right now. So this is what it's going to look like when it boots up. Uh, here we go. Try to get this good. It says hello. And then it comes into this screen. Um, so you got your kilometers up here. I'll show you what it looks like when the bike is uh, starting up here in a minute. But, um, this is the main interface. So here's one I put on with a headlight. You get your little beam button up here, beam, beam light up here. And uh, I'm going to turn that off. Actually, you can probably see it a bit better with the headlight on. <coughs> so uh, let's see, when you push the brake, you get your little braking, brake symbol up here. Let's go into these settings here. I clicked this here button here, the middle one. And we get your trip is here. So you click it once and you get your odometer. I got 14 kilometers on this display. Um, on the other display, when you switch your displays, you will not get uh, your kilometers switch over. So I had 5,000 kilometers on the other displays. When here I have 14. Then you click it again. And that's your range but the battery <clears throat> the battery doesn't support this option on this display so but there's other cool options on this display you get to see that's your trip how far you went that works so here's your max speed average speed time and you have a time up here your percentage of your battery Okay, now let's go into the options. How you get into your options, you double click the middle button here. Double click that one. So, I'll double click it. Now we're in the menu. Language, English, system, you can turn it to metric or standard or imperial, sorry. Okay, and how you get into these settings, you just click the middle button once and then you press up and down to switch between modes. Okay, so <clears throat> brightness, I can turn that up and down, up and down, and I'll keep it on too. Uh, this is your auto off, so when you're not touching anything on the bike, uh, how long it takes for the bike to turn off. Scenes, this one doesn't work on this display because it's not programmed, maybe an update or something. Battery percentage, you can do that by percentage. <coughs> ah, so I don't know why you do that, so you can't see no percentage of your battery or your voltage or anything. And then you do voltage, it'll tell you how much voltage is on your battery. So you can see your battery setting. I keep it on percentage. Power indicator, that's power on there now, so that's telling me wattage. And I change it again to current, and that tells me your amps that you're drawing currently. So I leave that on power. Clock, and you just go in there and set up your clock settings. Uh, set pass, start password. That's for when you go to start up the bike. You can have a password on the bike so nobody can steal your bike. If you change this here option, make sure you remember it. You can go into these three dots here, that's your basic settings. 
That's your wheel diameter. Mine's at uh, 28 inch. Battery's voltage is 48. USB port. There's a USB port on the bottom of the display. I'll show you here. You just haul. This is the first time me ever doing this. Haul that out, and there's a USB port right there. So you can turn that on and off right here. I'll show you. On, uh, light sensor, that's if your bike got a light sensor, mine doesn't, I can't get into the option. Um, advanced settings, you gotta come down here and go one, or click in here and press one. So how you get to one, you press up on the, up on your menu button right here. And you click the middle button to get over to the next option. And then you press down for nine. And then you go to the next one, press 1 and 9. And you're into the advanced options. Okay, so speed limit, like I said, 47. It's not going to do that. Uh, there's limitations in the controller that will not let you do that. Uh, amps, I got set to 19. Um, poles and motors, 6. Start after poles, three. Clockwise, yes. Um, throttle, six kilometers, and this, this I just left normal. This is a very cool mode, start mode. Um, you go in here, <clears throat> and you can pick eco, standard, or power. This is for when you're accelerating. If you're accelerating in eco, it'll take you up a lot slower. Normal will take you up a little bit faster. And then power, you'll feel it give you a little bit better. So I'll leave it in eco, so I'll save on battery. Assist levels, you can change that from 5 to 9, or UEB, that's user inter uh, base interface, I think it stands for. But I think that's where you can put in your own, but I don't know how to do that. And you would put it on three. So that's your intervals. You put up your pedal assist. So I leave mine on five. And key anti-jam. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to leave that there. So that's 18650 display. And I will show you now with the bike under load and uh, back tire spinning so you can see the way that the display displays up the kilometers and so on.